I got three stuck fasteners on this wheel. I got these two off. How to remove any stubborn lug nut, rounded lug nut, over tightened lug nut, rusted lug nut, or strip lug nut, all while saving your wheels from damage. The problem with these two piece caps is that they rust right in between the cap and the nut. Once these things are damaged, um, if they don't fall off, it can cause problems in stripping. Water will even get in there and lock the lug nut to the lug stud. It's a 19 or a three quarter inch drive sockets. When those caps fall off, it ends up being at 18 millimeters. A lot of times these nuts are just put on too tightly from an impact gun and not a torque wrench. So usually my first method of attack, try to remove the nuts with my most powerful impact gun. Next thing I will try, brute force, and this is actually more powerful than an impact gun. What I use is a three quarter inch drive ratchet. I've broken many half inch drive ratchets and breaker bars doing this. Half inch ratchet for comparison and size. This ratchet will never break. If anything does break, it'll be this adapter, this half inch drive 18 millimeter socket. It'll strip the nut or snap the stud right off. Nine times out of 10, it just removes the nuts. This is a six foot fence post, one and three quarter size. And you get those at Home Depot. That one may have stripped. Let's try this third one. Good lord, that's tight. Real quick, please like this video. YouTube will push this video and their algorithm to the masses. This is the first one we got. Kind of been stripped out. The threads don't look like they're stripped or anything, and there's definitely anti-seize in there. The other one, the cap was still good. The threads look good on that too. So I don't know why these nuts lock up on there so bad. The garbage design, these stupid caps that merely for show, they always rust. And this has been going on for 20, 25 years. Dodge should know better. I'm gonna pound like a 17 millimeter on there and try to save this lug stud. So I got an older 17, but it's a shallow socket. I'm gonna try this shallow one. Well, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Resize all these ridges on the lug nut. I force it on with a hammer. Forges new uh, edges. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, have that all the way down on the lug nut and twist it off. Boy, that's on there solid. That should give us a really good chance. That is one stubborn nut. So, and usually all these nuts will come off, but apparently this one's especially weird. A new stud for this wheel. I'm gonna take this drill. It happens to be a 15, 30 seconds. This is your last case resort here, uh, but it works quite well. You want your drill bit to be slightly smaller in size to the lug stud. Find out what size lug stud you have, use a little bit smaller drill bit. You don't wanna drill out the holes in your wheel. You don't wanna make those bigger. And you wanna drill all the way through the lug stud where uh, where all the grip is to hold the, the lug nut and the wheel on the vehicle. Got some ear protection. We got some eye protection. So far, so good. The lug nut itself around the outside provides kind of like a funnel for the drill bit to go in, so usually it stays pretty straight. That's the longest shaving I think I've ever seen. That's one continuous. That's the longest shaving I've ever seen. That's amazing. 
How is that possible that, that is one shaving? Comment down below if you've seen that. That's pert near a foot. I don't know if this thing's just incredibly sharp. Pretty close. We're probably within a short one. Did you see that? I didn't even have to do anything. Look at that. No rim damage here. Not much left, but you can see the separation. See where we drilled it out. Just kind of nip those threads all the way down, pounding the socket on, and then trying to resize it, and then putting brute force on it. Not an ideal situation, but at least we saved the wheel. Those are some serious shavings right there. Anybody want some skiddy? To get to this uh, lug stud, we need to get this rotor off, which means we gotta remove the calipers. Find a space in here that this lug stud can go that direction and have space to uh, kind of land. Either this spot or this spot. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky getting them out of there. Worst case scenario, we could take this shoe off. I've had them just fall out before. Oh, look at that. The new one obviously is a little bit longer. So it is going to go in harder as far as trying to find a spot to to fit it. It kind of came out the bottom, so I'm going to start at the bottom. See if I can't uh, wiggle it up in here. I'm going to line up this hole. It wants to go up in that hole about that far, so I'm going to let it kind of go up in there, and then we'll just do a little twist, and that's going to pop right out. I expected more fight from you, Dodge. And the most inexpensive way to do this is stack about four or five washers right here. And you go ahead and just tighten it up. Better have a couple extra lug nuts. So I don't want to damage these. It mars up the lug nuts. Lyle special tool. You can use a brand new lug nut, old lug nut. And it's it's got a nice little taper there to match the taper. No friction because of this bearing. And it works quite well. To spin this and kind of find a spot where it stopped. This knurling right here to seat. That means that knurling lined up with the old knurling. I like to hold it right in that spot once it stops. Put your special tool on. That hub won't allow this tool to sit down flush. So Dodge threw another curveball. Big surprise. Just a little space down in there. This is nice and flat. Everything's flush and straight. You can install one of these or ten of these back to back. The nice part about that bearing is it's less friction on those threads so you don't damage those and then this knurling is in really good shape. I don't see any problem with it. The head of that lug stud is perfectly flat with the hub. It's completely installed and you can see it's nice and straight. And now my favorite, twist socket extractors for lug nuts. You just need to be ahead of the game and order them before you need them. 17 labeled right here for the size nuts that you have. 21 and 22. So they give you a fancy little rod here to push your nut back out. Half inch drive square bit socket here so we can use an impact or hand tools. This is a different vehicle so please disregard for this demonstration. But once you use these twist sockets it is going to damage the nut. So whatever the ones we decide to use, I'm going to just pick the rusty ones so we'll put some new ones on here. This is a three quarter inch socket which is the same as 19 millimeters. Now we're going to put it on that nut. You could probably just twist this off because these do fit quite tightly. Uh, you want to pound this on with a socket and pound it the rest of the way, the full length of the nut, so that these twist uh, socket grippers in there can get the maximum amount of force. Put your socket extension in there and your impact. This is what you can expect from a twist socket. Very, very valuable tool to have in your box. I'll put uh, links in the description below. Awesome. So we're gonna put it right on the next one.
This time I'm going to try a half inch drive ratchet. Alright, that's awesome. This is a very non-invasive way to do this and the only thing you need is another nut to replace it with. Wheels are perfectly safe, no worse condition than when we started. There's two methods that I don't recommend. Uh, the first being heat. You don't want to use a torch because uh, you are going to damage the wheel. Old school hammer and chisel method or with, with an air hammer is typically going to damage your wheel also. So I try to avoid these two methods. Um, they are methods that will work. Examples of one piece nuts, open ended design, which may let in more moisture into the fastener. Closed end design. This is far superior than a two piece lug nut. I wish they made these in like stainless steel. This is also a one piece design, a lock key design. So it's an anti theft device. These lug nuts probably get removed several dozen times in a vehicle's lifetime. Rotate tires, replace brakes, steering suspension components. Always use a torque wrench to tighten down all of your lug nuts and this will ensure that your lug nuts do not loosen up. And you want to go in a crisscross pattern. I also have videos on press-in style bearings, bolt-in style bearings, trailer bearings. And if you want to check them out, that'd be cool. And if you're new, please subscribe and see you in the next one.